Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last episode we defeated two bosses and reached the first Your Sanctuary location, Giant Step. Now that we've uncovered the secret that Onet's been hiding Ness's entire life, we can take our first steps into the world beyond. Let's go. But also, first, uh, these are the stats that I have because I would like to show these at the beginning of each episode. I won't be making note of them each episode, but I will be just subconsciously showing them in case you're interested. With that out of the way, let's go! Now that we've defeated uh, the Sanctuary boss, all of the enemies here will... I mean, they'll still be hostile, but they'll run away from us. It's really neat. And it's, it's hard to tell with these enemies because they're so tiny, but they're facing away from us right now. Which means that this is a perfect place to farm. I won't be doing it here because I'm I'm fairly certain that I'm high enough level, but I can show you what I mean. If you attack this enemy, it's green, so you're attacking it from behind, and sadly the other enemy came and attacked. But you can see there that it's green, so you can pretty much attack every single enemy here, get a green swirl, possibly insta-kill it, and farm up really easily. And we got a cookie. I don't care about the cookie. I'll be selling that cookie today. Because cookies are not something I'm interested in anymore. There's one more point where I can exploit something with them, but after that, it's it's over. Can you not look at me? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No, mouse. Don't. <sighs> mouse. No, don't. Don't look at me. Don't look. No, look away. I'm, I'm shy. Look away. Ah, man. Dumb mouse. I wanted to show something off. Oh, wow. Okay. We're high enough level to insta-kill the mice now. That's that's neat. Stupid mouse wouldn't look away. And actually, since I'm not interested in farming, I'm just going to use that skip sandwich that I got last episode and just speed right through this place. Uh, items. Skip sandwich. It is here. Let's use it. Boom. Skip sandwich. HP. I, doesn't matter. But I'm running really fast. Look at that. Look at his little arms go. Is it gone? I think it's gone. No, wait, I, I'm pretty sure it's still gone. Or is it not going? I, I think it's gone now. I, just, I still feel really fast for some reason. Is it still active? I don't know. But we're going pretty fast there. We may... Oh! Hey you, the board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Um, yeah. So you just didn't want to read the sign, huh kid? Get your butt to the Onet police station later. Wow. But... We... We got the mayor's permission. Apparently he didn't get the memo. Like, we went to the mayor's office, we asked him, he gave us the key, and then we entered. That's how... that's how... the positions of power works, right? I mean, the police are not higher than the mayor. Uh, obviously, if the mayor's doing something illegal, then he should be arrested. But still, we didn't do anything wrong, and we're being going to be punished for it. That's nasty. Don't hit me! I... no. I have too much to live for. Don't kill me, please. Okay. Let's go inside this uh, drugstore. We've seen a lot of the drugstore lately. Uh, talk to my dad because I need to save and also change the text boxes. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, BRB. LOL. XD. XDJK. It's your dad. $561. That's quite an allowance, even today. Sheesh. Record. Goodness, dad. You're, you're too good to me. Are you running a counterfeiting agency? I don't know. There's not even an agency for that. Are you counterfeiting money? You should tell me that. Things you should tell your son. Thought I could trust you. Yeah! Yeah! I'm Hercule Satan, and I... I have bananas. Yeah! <laughs> Apparently Ness is really pumped about bananas. That, that makes sense. Bananas are a wonderful fruit, and probably one of the best that th this planet has to offer. Um, I don't need a hundred dollars, probably... Let's see, um... 
I'm buying hamburgers in case you didn't know. 14 times 5. $70. I just need 70. So, 60 and 8. Uh, let's do 69 because I want to carry around $1. There. Okay, let's... Le actually, do you have anything for me? I have to ask. I really do. Uh, no. Okay, just making sure. I, I was curious. No, I didn't... I I'm glad I didn't hurt your feelings. I just wanted to check. Oh, hi, butterfly. Uh, I'll spare you your life for now. Okay. Let's go get some burgers, since apparently bananas weren't enough. Oh, I, I, I forgot to sell my cookies. Man. No. Then I made that mistake. Yes. Uh, there are going to be a lot more mistakes like that in this Let's Play. Too much stuff. I wonder why. Wrong thing. I need to sell a cookie and fruit juice, and then buy two more hamburgers. Do I really need this many hamburgers? No. Uh, I just... <laughs> Kind of want, and you know what? I'm pretty sure this is enough hamburgers. Why would this not be enough hamburgers? Uh, give to myself. There, I'm, I rearranged the hamburger. You can do that if there's an item that you have deep in your inventory and you want it at the top, so it's easy for you to grab it in battle. You can just say, you can just give it to yourself, and it will reorder it to the top or the bottom in this case. You know what? No, I'm good. I don't need to. Yeah, I'll... Ugh. I don't really want to go through the hassle to sell those cookies. Well, let's just go. I'm good. How much money do I have on me, though? $39? I won't cry too hard if I lose that, but... I still probably shouldn't be carrying around money. Don't do what I'm doing, kids, if the, you play this game. Because you totally can, without needing emulators. Because it's... What is it, $10 on the eShop? I don't know. And we can heal up at Frank's, but we haven't taken any damage, so... We're pretty good. Our stats are really high right now. Like, triple digits for eight, for health. That's great. Okay, we can't go south, which is where we need to do, go because the police are blocking it. The road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze through roadblocks either. Annette is famous for roadblocks. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that. Don't talk to me. I'm on duty. Until I have Chief, Chief Strong's permission, I can't let you through. Goodness. Wait, are you that same guy? Oh, oh. The road's closed again. It's Annette's claim to fame. Oh, this poor man, he's been stuck twice. Can't you just, like, let him through? Goodness, he's, he's been stuck in here for days, probably. He hasn't had a change of clothes, or a shower, or even food. I mean, we know he hasn't had any food because we've checked the trash cans ourselves, and we got the food in there. Okay. Uh, we were told to turn ourselves in. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like th this, t kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you go? Yeah, are you sure you want to go to t Tucson? Okay, <laughs> follow me. Okay, I have no control over this. I'm just forced to follow. I want to get away. He's grabbing me by the wrist. Oh, goodness. Uh. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Well, then. Aya! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Uh, police brutality? I want an adult that isn't in this room. I want anyone. Okay, policeman. Wonderful. Ness attacked, the cop dodged quickly, and, uh, and the cop attacked, did a tiny bit of damage. I attacked again, and we're just chopping away. I really have a fair, unfair of it. Uh, let me... <laughs> just, just one moment. I didn't know that you were going to be bringing out brass knuckles or bringing out switchblades. I, I just want to make sure that I'm, I, I have my last meal, you know, before I bash your face in. There. These police are out for blood! And we got another hamburger! That's nice. It's like a freebie in Mario Super Mario RPG. You're tough! You should join the police force! Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero! <laughs> really? Well, I guess, I guess the police have Robocop on their side, so that makes sense. Although, does he count as a superhero? Or is he just a cop, proving his point? I don't know. I don't have time for this. I'm just going to bash you in the in the face area and give you splinters like I gave to Frank because you're no better than Frank. Actually, you could probably 
smash Frank's face in the ground, but... Uh, yeah, Frank's a better person than you. You have standards, and you're just abandoning them. Turning your back on the standards. But Frank... He had standards, and he stuck to them. He was honorable. You're not honorable. And we got another hamburger, so... Another freebie. Oh, you won. <laughs> yes! I am 13, and I will beat up these people who are trained in combat. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Okay. The first two, they're like, yo, I'm gonna beat you. And then this one's fat. He's, he's insulting my weight. And I worked very hard to get to this weight. I weigh 115 pounds, Jack. You, get, you don't got nothing on me. <laughs> and when I'm insulted, all the bad grammar comes out. No, really, I weighed 115. But I don't work hard for it. Uh, next time I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. Come on, I'm going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. Now, this battle's important. It is very important that you stay n close to full health here. Uh, why? Because we have another policeman to fight. Now, Spoilers, we'll be fighting someone immensely strong, much stronger than this policeman, and it is very important that we keep our health topped off in this battle, since there's no chance to heal up in between. Okay. Back to my weight, though. I'm 115, and I I do not work for it at all. I'm, you know, I, I'm one of those people that I could eat, you know, 40 hamburgers in a week for every meal, and I wouldn't gain a pound. I'm just one of those people. Now, it's probably going to affect me later in life if I eat badly now, but right now, no, I'm feeling fine. You won! More experience and another hamburger, right? Yeah, because you all have hamburgers. Grr, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. And by call for my boss, I mean run past him, straight into the ladies' room where he's going to cry. There is no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so... Get ready for my Super Ultra Ma uh, Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts! Captain Strong attacked! He's fighting with his hands behind his back! That's the worst strategy! Now, I want to I want to do up a hamburger here. Uh, offense went up, ugh, went up by one. That's not good. Uh, but, instead of bashing him here, we have a lot of rockin'. Yeah, seriously, we can rock his world. And I, I'm gonna do that, because that's how you should do it. He missed, too. So, we haven't taken any damage from this guy. He's raising his offense, but it's not going to matter, because in another rockin', he's probably going to be, um, kissing the earth. If you get what I'm, uh, what I'm saying. He came out swinging 22 damage. Oh, that's, that's really cute. Because I have this psychic attack that will smash your face in. It actually won't smash his face in. It'll make him tame. And we're, our level is now 12. Offense went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. Luck went up by 2. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 2 as well. Ness realized the power of shield alpha. I didn't think you would be you would do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep click. Drrr. Click. Strong here. Do you read me? Drrr. Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a sh in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I I know that. I know that, too. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. You know, it would have been really cool if his name was Peace, because then he would say Peace out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. You expect me to forgive you after that. You tried to kill me in this room, which I'm assuming is soundproof, since it has gray walls, and all, all walls with gray on them are soundproof. Like, what is up with this? Can we talk? Hey, I'm in here. Go and find, uh, find another can. Ha, huh, I was just joking. Okay. Psst, I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. How do I know you're not trying to break them out? Okay, can you move? Thank you. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Goodness. You have no business being there. You should be out on the streets. 
In fact, you're probably innocent with this police force. I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a, r a tough time. Are you against the police force? Because that would be ironic, and I would not wish you to get past it. Are you on the police for force part? Dumb guy. He doesn't answer. He's really rude. Especially since he just tried to end our life. Alright, now that the roadblock is open, we can carry on. We can proceed. But first, I'd like to go through the game corner. Speak up to Frank. Not speak up, but speak to him. Actually, I might be able to insta-kill this guy. Yeah? Wait, was that all he was going to say? Are you kidding me? I spent time last episode trying to avoid him when all he was going to say is yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty funny, I have to admit. You look much much stronger. Would you like to rest? Ness, you're strong you're much stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. I can kind of see him having the voice of that Geico salesman guy. <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of what I was I was going for with that voice because the Geico salesman guy is awesome. He seriously has one of the best voices I've ever heard. You know the guy where he's like, "Could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance?" That guy. He's he's awesome. He was also in Psych. Uh, small known fact. It was he was in Psych and it was really cool. And he played pretty much the same part. <laughs> hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Captain uh, from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You too. You are good policemen because you just follow orders and you don't beat anyone up. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Thank you. I would use that if I was a toddler who never played this game. Oh, wow. Look at... Th you see all those enemies? Let's try to get them off screen because I am not a fan. Okay, are we good now? Oh, they're running away. Oh, they're running away from us. Well, forget that. All right. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind, and boy, are they fast. I really love these guys. Exit mice. A very strange character, but very cool. Because, trust me on the dark road. What? <laughs> okay. Ooh, do I get to come along too? Okay, these guys are creepy. What are you, what do you say? Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Yes. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Ness got the exit mouse. No, it's not a new party member, but it's a very useful, quote unquote, item. If you're in a cave, so pretty much any cave, which is like a labyrinth or whatever, uh, you can use your exit mouse to make you teleport out. Very useful. Very, very useful. If you need to get out of a cave, but you're at low health and uh, you'll die if you don't get out of the cave, um, then you can do it without having to dodge enemies for a half hour. Let's open the present. There was a hamburger inside because hamburgers are rampant in this world. And there's a butterfly there, but I don't really care. In fact, you know, this is a really good idea. I'm going to herd this butterfly along. Possibly. Oh, mushroom. I was going to try and herd him along to, to keep him with me for the first battle. Oh, no, another mushroom. Okay, those mushrooms you don't want to get close to. Because they will attack you. And they will inflict a status ailment. Which is annoying as Justin Bieber. Like, you, don't be you won't believe how annoying these are. Let's just... Let's just keep it at that. If they attack you, and there's, uh, if they attack you, there's a chance that they will inflict a status ailment on you. That is called mushroomization. A mushroom will appear on Ness's head and cause any movement he does on this map to change. So pretty much, you'll be drunk, and the controls will change every couple of seconds. It is a nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare. So don't fight them. You may think that it's a good a good time to fight these guys, but no. Do not fight them. Ever! I saw you. You're trying to hide from me. Let's try- let's be rational about this. Just despawn, and we can go- both go in peace. Good. <sighs> okay. Let's just creep forward. It's really not that bad. If I see one, 
their vision radius is pretty small, so I can just run away, but still, they're nasty. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like, hu look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. True, but you're not going to get more powerful if you fight these mushroom guys. Eh, yeah, we can fight this. Never mind, we'll insta-kill it. I I'm pretty sure they're still antoids. I'm fairly- oh wow, we're at Tucson already. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain they're antoids, and I didn't have that much trouble on the road. Usually I do. Usually I mushroomize by now, but we were actually pretty fortunate. I, I say actually way too often, but we were fortunate with the with the enemy spawn. Welcome! Would you like to- t bleh, I can't talk! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Yes! Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and wondrous and wonderful chaos theater. There's a pulse. There's the Pulse Star Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you might find the peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, tee <laughs> I don't know anything else. Oh, so you're new to here too. I see. Okay, there is one of the people with weird colored faces. Let's go ahead and fight this person. You meet the unsettling, what's his name? Unassuming local guy. <laughs> that's that's a good enemy name. Let's bash him. <laughs> Since that's what we do to everyone. M or miss, we can do that too. Unassuming local guy is attacking. 21 damage. We did 37. What are you going to do about that? He's attacking again. He's doing a lot of damage, but we're doing more. Good. If only anyone that you had a beef with could j Oh wow, that's a lot of experience. A toothbrush? Okay, I... You know, I'm pretty sure the toothbrush is a worthless item, but it can't be more worthless than the cookie. Let's throw away the cookie. Uh, yeah, throw away. Ness threw the cookie away and took the toothbrush. Actually, <laughs> that is a life lesson, children. Cookies are bad for your teeth, but if you forsake them for cookie-flavored... I, uh, toothpaste, where am I going? I don't want to go this way, I want to go back. Then you, your cavities will be gone forever. Remember that, kids. Always choose the toothbrush over the cookie. Life choices. Hashtag health. Okay, you, I don't want to fight, let's just walk past. That's a bald guy. Don't want to fight the bald guy, I just want to walk along this path. I actually expected that it would take longer to get to Tucson than it took. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought the game froze, but I expected it to take longer to, to get to Tucson than it did, so we actually have some extra time, and apparently f there's camera guy. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And away he goes! That, that kind of seems random, but it's it's this is kind of a checkpoint. If you go into that cycle shop, you can buy a bicycle and ride it around, and you're faster than normal, and it's really nice, but it takes up an inventory space, just like the soundstone, and so I will not be doing it. Okay, who are you? Are you who I think you are? I mean, you're obviously B.A. Baracus, or Mr. T. Sorry, I default think of Mr. T as B.A. Baracus, but what do you have to say? I think this is one of my favorite guys. I saw some weird guy following Paula. This guy gives me the creeps. Okay. Okay, I know this guy, and he will say a line later, and it's hilarious, but for now, he's not. But he talked about Paula, and Paula is someone who we know. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. We don't, we haven't met her, but we've seen her. Okay, uh, I want to go to that Berglund Park, actually. Can I go there? I'm kind of lost. Uh, can we go down here? Yes. Let's go here. And go over here. I was over there before, but I got kind of stuck, and I wanted to talk about other things first. So let's go over here. I'm kind of burning time at this point, but it's all good. My taxi! You just hit that dog. Dumb taxi. There was a kidnapping! Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. <laughs> 
What kind of dog is that? I don't know. He's kind of, he's kind of frightening. Just look at his eyes. Wait. Wait. Oh, you're that guy! Brooklyn Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff here. You're, you're the guy that was stuck, and now you're free. Maybe. You might not actually be him. You may just be a recolor, just like we just saw two B.A. Barakasit. Sorry, Mr. T's. There's, there's another Mr. T right there. Of course, Everdread isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a cr uh, crime boss. There he is. If you want to fight an optional battle, you can come over here to Berglund Park, and there is Everdread, who we will be seeing a lot of in the coming Let's Play. Now, I feel like fighting him is a good way to end off the episode, but I would like to eat some of my hamburgers first because he's not, he's not, oh, <laughs> he's not a walk in the park. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I said that. I went there. Okay, let's look at this toothbrush, actually. Help! Toothbrush can be used during battle. Gone after one use. I'm fairly certain this does nothing. I'm, I'm not going to use it in this battle, but I'm fairly certain it does absolutely garbage. Anyway, let's let's talk to this guy. That is Everdread the crime boss. Wahaha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? <laughs> That's a new voice. I always love when I come out with new voices. Okay, Johnny be good, but you be Johnny be dead. You will be dead. Uh let's use Rock and Alpha because that is an attack that I use from time to time. Rock and Alpha. Yeah, that's how I roll. St stole my hamburger. I worked hard for. Th I stole that from the cops. Actually, that's that's pretty boss. I stole hamburgers from cops, and this guy stole those off me. That's actually, you know what? I understand now. You're just doing it for the achievements. Fight. Wait. What? What? Everdread bit us. How? Okay, let- no, 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 not Rock and Alpha. Life up. Don't, no, life, yes, 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 I've never explained that before. Oh my goodness, he is doing way more damage than I thought he would. Oh, you guys saw that. Oh, okay, that's an example of the scrolling health bars in this game. You can see that they scroll down. We don't instantly loot, it would take damage. Uh, it takes a while for us to die, which means that there's a slim window for us to be able to heal ourselves and to live. And we lived. Okay, I'm fairly certain I'm going to lose this battle just by the sheer amount of damage this guy's doing to me. In fact, I'm, I'm insecure enough that I'm using Life Up Alpha again because I'm pretty certain he's going to deal another 80 damage. Biting attack, no 30. Okay, but that's fine. We're back up to max. Oh, oh, that was a save. That was such a save. Let's bash again. I don't want to use... I don't want to use the thing. Big grin. If you... Okay, 30 damage. 20 damage. I'm going to heal again because... If, if he bites me... <laughs> it sounds horrible. If he bites me, I am dead. Life up. Big grin on his face. Good, he doesn't care. You know, if he's biting us so much, maybe we should give him the toothbrush. I'm actually kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to give him the toothbrush. And then he just looks at me incredulously, and I'm just like, That's how I roll, dog! And then I, I bash his face in, saying, They see me rolling, they hate in, they see me rolling, and they think I might be bashing lo a lot. And we turn him into normal. That song's been stuck in my head for a long time. Ever- Whoa. That's a lot of experience. That song has been stuck in my head for a good- Let's see. When was Easter? I think it's a month ago, so a good month. It's been stuck in my head for no reason at all. Yes, I'm Everdread, the boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you- I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some kind of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Huh. Wait, can we? You know, this is completely... 
on a tangent, but can I use the toothbrush? Oh man, I can't use it here! I want to brush my teeth after that battle. He, I don't know where he, did he bite me in the mouth? Because if he did, then I want to brush my teeth after that, right? That's the, that's the rule. If someone bite, <laughs> if someone bites you in the mouth, you have to brush. <laughs> uh, that battle's actually kind of funny. It, it was good because it allowed me to segue easily into explaining something, but still, it was kind of, it's kind of weird. Now, I know the episode's over. In fact, how are we on time? We're okay. We have like a couple minutes. Uh, I want to fight an enemy and use that toothbrush. I'm really interested now. Uh, that that's an enemy, but I'm fairly certain the mushroom will come down. I don't want to fight the mushroom. Is there just? Oh wait, no. The antoids will be insta killed. Oh, I forgot. Okay, let's just fight a mushroom. I don't care. Uh, mushroom. Of course, now that I want a mushroom, he's nowhere to be found. Mushroom. 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 I didn't. I didn't get mushroomized in Pikmin. I want to get mushroomized here. Mushroom. Mushroom. Okay, that's a lot of enemies, actually. Mushroomization is very bad in battle because it allow it is basically like confused from Pokemon. We can attack ourselves uh, once we're confused, which is pretty nasty. Imagine Ness hitting him himself in the face with a baseball bat. Not a pretty picture, and it can happen in this game. So yeah, let's hopefully not get that done. Attacking, he's not doing spores on us. Life up alpha. Don't care. He attacked us. Don't care again. They're not going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> Mate, wait, what? What? That actually does something? Oh my goodness. That's that's amazing. I didn't get to read the text, but you guys can pause the video. It said something like, Ness brushed his teeth and his smile was so bright that it froze the... <laughs> That is an amazing item. I really wish I would held on to that now. Let's see, where did we get the toothbrush? Oh, snap. Where did we get that? Did we get it from a present? No, I think, I think we got it from an enemy. I really hope we get another one, because I also need to check out the percentage that that, that will work. Because if that works on, like, a boss, and I use it, and it's just like, <laughs> Ness stops fighting and just smiles at the enemy, that, that'll make my day. Possibly my entire life. Let's just kill these guys with rock and... I'm going to heal up uh, in between episodes, so it's not really, an, it's not really a, a the the problem that I'm using up all my PP. Enemy left a present inside the present was a ketchup packet. Ness took it. Ness's levels are now 13. That pushed us over. Offense went up by one. Defense went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP went up by 13, and maximum PP went up by three. Okay, that was neat. That was a good episode. I got to, <laughs> I got to sing. They see me rolling. They hating, they see me ruin, and they think I might be bashing. Yeah, they, I, I sang that song. I don't even know the full lyrics to that song. And I don't even know if that song is bad, but it could be. But it's stuck in my head, and I've already recorded it, so it'll be enshrined upon the YouTubes forever. Goodness, that's, that's a horrible thought. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode now. Uh, we are not over time, but we're getting close. So I'm just going to end it here before I make it too long. Thank you so much for watching, and next time in Earthbound, um, I don't know, we'll chase after the people who kidnapped Paula, even though we've never met Paula, but they're going to make her human sacrifice. That's not something I am for. Not going to fight him. That's not something I'm for, so we'll try to put a stop to that next time. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how, how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Uh, and I will see you... Oh, I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. There. I did my outro. Is there, is there another one of those hippies over here? No, okay. See you guys next time. After this episode was recorded, I went to a hotel to sleep to recover all of my health. And when I did, this appeared. N ness 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 I am a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula.
We're coming for you, Paula.